Imagine launching a spacecraft to the moon using a computer less powerful than the one in your digital watch or basic calculator, the Apollo Guidance Computer, AGC. Developed in the 1960s, was the brain behind NASA's legendary moon missions including Apollo 11, which landed Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin on the lunar surface in 1969. But here's the mind-blowing part. The AGC operated at 0.043 MHz, that's 43 KHZ, and had just 64 kilobytes of memory. That's not gigabytes, not even megabytes, just kilobytes. By comparison, a simple modern pocket calculator runs at over 1 MHz and has exponentially more memory. Your smartphone? It's millions of times more powerful. Yet, despite its limitations, the AGC performed complex real-time calculations, navigated a spacecraft through the vacuum of space, adjusted for gravity, trajectory, and engine burns, and even handled emergency overrides. How was this possible? Because it was brilliantly optimized. The software, written in assembly language, was crafted line by line by hand, often using punch cards and magnetic core memory. Every bit counted. Every instruction was necessary. Astronauts interacted with the AGC using a simple interface called the DSKY display and keyboard, entering verbs and nouns like a code language. For example, verb 16 noun 65 might mean display velocity. And when things went wrong, like during Apollo 11's descent when alarms started blaring, the AGC didn't crash. It prioritized only the most important tasks, dumped what wasn't critical, and kept running allowing the mission to safely land. This tiny, underpowered, legendary computer got humanity to the moon and back. So next time your phone lags or your app crashes, just remember, NASA got to the moon with less tech than your toaster. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this mind-blowing fact. And hit that subscribe button for more. Amazing stories from the world of science and tech.